In this video I'm going to show you how to scroll your camera up and down with the mouse scroll wheel or your trackpad or whatever you use to scroll really. The scrolling works with our boundaries, I've created another boundary above the map so we can't go too high and it works with our automatic height adjustments as well. Okay guys, really really nice and smooth, I'll put a demo up when we're finished, we'll, in the next video we'll just tweak out the whole script and then I'll put a demo up so it looks really nice. So. I'm just going to show you what we're going to do. We're going to uh, scroll the camera based on the angle of the camera because we don't want to scroll directly up and directly down. We want to scroll relative to where the camera is facing. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Um, so uh, I'm just going to remove the world camera 2 because that's the complete script and attach the one we've been working on. So it's really easy to do this, guys. Once we've coded our method. It's just one method. We're just going to put it in the late update function and apply a couple of variables to our uh, to our class. Okay, so that's really simple. I'm going to define a public game object. Okay, I'm going to call this main camera. We're going to take in the main camera and also a private one, a private game object, not going to be shown. And we're going to use this to work out the desired position of the scroll. I'm going to call it scroll angle. Let's just call it scroll angle for now. Okay, so why do we do the scroll angle? Well, we're going to do it to work out the, where we want to scroll to on every frame because the way we've coded this is the camera controller uh, manipulates the Y rotation but the main camera object manipulates its X rotation. Okay, so we're going to apply the Y rotation to the angle object and the X rotation to the angle object Okay, and apply it to the position of our the camera itself. Okay, so we've got the position of our main camera, we've got the rotation we need to move towards and away from, then we can just apply the distance of the scroll to it. Okay guys, so that's what we're going to do. Um, I hope hopefully it'll become clearer as we go along. Okay, so that's the scroll angle object. So I'm just going to make the game object here, I'm going to say scroll angle equals new game object. And in the late update we're going to do this after the rotation because we need to know which rotation we're scrolling in first, so it's got to be after this method. Okay, so we're just going to call it apply scroll. Apply scroll. Okay, I'm going to do it here. So public void apply scroll. So the first thing we need to do is actually make some variables. I'm going to define a float, call it dead zone, and I'm going to make it 0 0.01 because um, depending on the amount we scroll, the value might be very very small, in which case we won't notice much on the screen when we're scrolling in and out. If it's below 0 0.01 or within negative or positive 0 0.01 we're not going to scroll. That's why we have the dead zone. And I'm also going to make another one called ease factor. And I'm going to make this 20 units. So we're going to times this by the mouse scroll value because it's very small. So let's just dive into this now. Where are we going to get the scroll value from? Using the mouse wheel or your trackpad? Well, Unity has a bunch of built-in inputs. If I go to Edit, Project Settings, Input, so here's a bunch of predefined inputs, and we're going to use the mouse scroll wheel input. And all we need to worry about here is the sensitivity of it, so we can apply gravity and stuff, and I'm not going to dive into this, it's not very important. But the sensitivity is 0 0.1, and it's not very much, so rather than change it in this manager, because we might want to use this in the future in the project, we're going to change it here using the ease factor. We're going to times this by the uh, 0 0.1 sensitivity. And I'm going to do that now. So I'm going to say float scroll wheel value equals input. So we say input get axis to access this manager and get all the inputs we can have. And then we just need to type in the name of it. So mouse scroll wheel. I'm going to do that now so we can get axis mouse scroll wheel. Okay, simple as that. And we're going to times it by the ease factor. So now we've got our value. This is how much we want to scroll. So if we're going to scroll in one direction, it'll be positive. If we're going to scroll in the other one, it'll be negative, and that's how it works. Okay, so now we need to scroll it in a direction, and we need to work out that direction. So to begin with, let's uh, check dead zone. Okay, so if the scroll wheel value is greater than minus dead zone, so if it's greater than minus 0 0.01 okay and scroll wheel value if it's less than the dead zone so the positive value so if it's within a Z dead zone and we're going to do another one or the scroll wheel value equals zero so we're not scrolling at all we're going to return we don't want to scroll at all if this is the case okay guys 
So now we can go ahead and work out the position and the rotation of our scroll angle game object. So I'm just going to explain what we're going to do here. So if I hop to our scene view, let's just say we're playing the game right now and I'm in my perspective. We want our scroll angle game object to match the exact rotation and position of our main camera. But because we control one rotation with the camera controller, the rotation Y, and the X with the main camera, we need to get those two rotations and apply them to the same object, and then the object will be in the same transform as our camera. Okay, so then we're going to apply that scroll wheel value onto that, and then it will move backwards and forwards in the right direction. Okay, guys, so that's what we're going to do. Um, so I'm going to define that X Euler value first, the degree rotation. I'm going to call it Euler angle. X and we're going to get that main camera so main camera transform local Euler angles X okay so we're not we're going to get the rotation in world axes not the local axes because we're working out our desired position relative to the world we're going to control it in world space not the local space so that's the X value okay then we can go ahead and create the position and the rotation of the scroll angle so let's configure the scroll angle game object to begin with scroll angle transform position equals just transform position we want it to equal the exact the exact position of our camera okay so scroll angle let's change change the Euler angles so Euler angles equals and we're going to do a new vector 3 so the X one will be our Euler angles X which we're getting from the main camera because the main camera always deals with the X rotation looking up and down okay and uh, for the Y we say for this transform Euler angles dot Y okay so in this case with the Y value we just change the Y rotation with our camera controller anyway so we're going to get the Y and the Z is not going to change at all so again we can just get the Z value from our camera controller Okay, and that's our rotation. Dot Z, sorry, dot Z. Okay, so we've got the position and the rotation of the scroll angle, which hopefully matches our camera. Now we need to move it backwards or forwards depending on the mouse scroll wheel value, how much we want to scroll. And to do that, we're going to translate this object. So scroll angle transform translate. So we're just going to translate this object and to translate it we're going to use vector 3 back and we're going to times this by the scroll wheel value okay so why did we use vector 3 back and not vector 3 forward because um, if we use forward the scroll wheel will be inverted so if we want to scroll forward it will go backwards so this is why I use the back value instead so we've translated the object to our desired scroll value and that's awesome now we can actually take this desired position or this position of the object and apply it to our camera so now we can define the desired position so vector 3 desired scroll position equals scroll angle transform position okay so we're just getting that position we just create calculated here the translate and then we've got the position we want to move the camera in that's really great so what's next? Well, we can check if in boundaries. Check if it, this position is actually within the boundaries or not. And to do that, we can just say if desire scroll position x is less than camera limits left limit, okay, or desired scroll position dot x is greater than camera limits dot right limit. Okay, so if this is the case, we don't want to remove it at all, we're going to return. And we can do this in the other two limits as well. In the other way, we can say if the Z value is greater than the top limit, and we can check if the Z value is less than the bottom limit, then we also want to return as well. Okay, so we've checked if it's in the boundaries. We can do one more check, and that is in the height boundary. So we can say if, I'm going to copy this, if the scroll position y is greater than the max camera height, which we defined in the previous video. Again, return. We don't want anything to happen. 
all these things check if the camera is actually going to move in the right position so we don't want to move it outside of the map or anywhere we don't want it to okay and then we can update the camera height and the camera Y I think that's as lowercase c I'm not sure so in the previous video we defined the camera Y and the camera height okay so we're going to change these values here and to do this we need to work out the difference in heights from the previous frame okay so float height difference equals desired scroll position dot y minus this transform position y so this is the new value this is the value we're currently at let's get the difference we're going to get the height difference from that and then we can say camera height plus equals the height difference so we're just updating the camera height with our height difference basically okay so we're updating that and we can also update the camera y position camera y because we also we always need to keep this value updated every time the camera moves in height so with the camera y we can just say desired scroll position dot y that's where the camera is going to be in this case okay so the last thing we need to do is actually update the camera position so this transform position equals desired scroll position and then return and then we're done with this and then it should work okay guys so let's just go through what we did here we firstly worked out the scroll wheel value so how much we're going to move in the scroll direction okay then we used our scroll angle game object this is a private game object we copy the position and the rotation of our camera but because we get the Y camera with the the Y rotation with the controller and the X with the main camera we get those rotations separately and apply them to our game object okay and we translate that uh, scroll wheel value with the uh, position and the rotation and then we get our desired scroll position using this object okay and uh, we check if it's in the boundaries that's pretty straightforward and then we update the camera height and also the camera Y position and then finally we just update the camera position to its desired scroll position so if I play the game now everything should work and uh, we should be scrolling okay that's cool so we can't scroll anywhere anywhere above 85 units and we can scroll inside the floor but I'm going to deal with that in the next video and we can rotate and scroll in any direction and we also cannot move into the boundaries stops there okay guys so that's really awesome it's working with our automatic height and that's our scrolling okay so in the next video I'm going to finish up with the uh, camera script I think and then we'll move on to our strategy game. So thanks for watching the video guys. Like I said you can copy and paste this whole method and put it into your game. Everything will work just fine. Okay thanks for watching the video guys. See you in the next video.